Legend of Total War here with part 28 of my This is Total War Attila Eastern Roman Empire Let's Play campaign. Previously, uh, we've... I don't think we took any settlements, did we? No, we've just been fighting defensive battles as per the usual while trying to consolidate. Our income is going through the roof. It's getting to the point where we're just going to be pouring in money soon because I've built 10 full stacks. The only thing I could do, I guess, to buff up my uh, forces is to, to increase this navy here which I don't really need right now um, I don't know what the hell they're doing there I don't need them you need to come up here and get rid of these goddamn Visigoths because they're pissing me off just keep them there now the next turn we can hunt them down doesn't really look like they've gained much experience but then again it was just a weak, weak general to begin with or not general um, Hundred experience per turn, or whatever. Um, all right. Well, as I said, this army or this navy here needs to return back to Constantia because it's it's damaged. Oh, hang on, hang on. Something happened here. How the hell did they repair fully, but not this one? Well, whatever. I don't care. Um, good amounts of food coming from here. We could definitely justify upgrading that. Giving us, of course, more garrison. Meaning we wouldn't have to leave a, a navy there. But, uh, I don't know, keep it there for now. This, this guy here should easily be able to defend this settlement. Against most things. I mean, I'm not seeing any armies around here. They must be fighting someone else. I'm just trying to have a look at what's going on. I could take that with pretty much impunity. What, are they going to stop me? I don't fucking think so. Not much of a garrison here. They could come down here and just retake it. I'm waiting on this to be converted because the garrison here is shite. And we, I really can't see what's going on down here. I should send my eyes down here. This isn't my spy. Um, I need him to see what's going on. How are we going in Ethiopia? I haven't really checked on this region lately. Everything seems to be fine. What are the major problems? Religious differences, which were once really quite high, are only minus nine now. Buildings are providing a lot of public order. We need mar Oh, hang on. This here, I think I'll convert that, because public order in this region could be a bit of a problem. So let's, let's grab the amphitheater. I don't need money from these regions, or whatever. So that'll provide extra pu uh, two public order, and also less religious paganism. Alright, so you've gained a level up just by sitting around doing nothing. Gain both of these, because that'll give you extra melee defense, so that you perform better in, in order resolve. If we should need you. Alright, um, that's right, we've got issues down here. I don't really want to fight that battle manually, in all honesty. If I... I don't think I can force march someone all the way back. Now, a problem is, if I send this guy in regular march all the way over here. Um, he might just decide to attack it instead. So what I'll do is send them some of the way and then fortify here. Next turn he'll be able to make it all the way there if they want to hold the siege down. I'm assuming they will, so we'll be able to make it there next turn. Commander. Of course, he's not going to be able to replenish it all, but if they were to attack, they're basically committing suicide. They'll never be able to uh, defeat us there. Alright, I'm still waiting on... You need to come back. Okay, so having a look at this province here... The public order should be stable even after you've left. It's not stable. Why is that? What are the problems here? Mostly religious differences and I guess a little bit of immigrants. What can we do to improve this? Well, we just need growth. That'll help a little bit. But that... Oh, shit. Um, what else can I do to fix this up? 
That'll help a little bit. Well, we've got tons of food here. If I was to upgrade this, it'd provide an extra public order. I don't know if that's really worth it. We've got sanitation here issues here. Why is that? I guess we just need to build this up. But I need marble for it. Well, but, oh, hang on, I know. This here, we don't need that money. Go for the extra public order, and that'll stabilize it. How long will it take before it revolts? That'll be done before then. Not to mention that'll slow it down as well. Greek Christianity, how much is that increasing by? So regional developments are increasing religious influence, but I don't know from what. Couldn't possibly be him. Well, I don't care. Um, what else do I need to do? How's, how's this province holding up? Constantia's been repaired. I really need to get that marble resource. There's no way I can justify him just sitting there. I'll probably bring him up here to keep expanding, get rid of, reconquer Anatolia. There's, looks like just one desolate territory. Now, I'm sure, certain that I abandoned more than that. So other people have been uh, restoring it. Yeah, I'm just going to bring you close here, to be honest. We, we need to get moving very soon. I can't go and take that. Just, let me just see here. What have they got here? At Sabrata, there's pretty much nothing. I just want to have a little bit of a scout up here. Where's my spy? Okay, Hadramentum is undefended, but what happened to their navy? I know they had one. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of a risk and retake this. Oh, hang on a second. This army here is in close range. He might actually go and take that settlement. And if he does that, he's trapped there. Really? Mm, he's just in range of us there. But if he came to attack us, we could defend against it. It's, it's not a big army. Okay, Demidi, we need food here. I mean, we could get gems, but that's not, that's not actually going to provide us with any money. Um, leave the camels as it is for now. Anybody we got to declare war on? Nope. What else? Everything else seems pretty good. This region is not being taxed. Should we tax it? I mean, it's still providing public order, but the amount of money is kind of dog shit, so don't worry about it. Sahara is still not producing food. Then that's what's causing massive public order problems. But that's okay, we're, we're, we're getting there as these things build. Right, when that's done, that'll provide a huge amount of food. All right, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, God damn it! One thing I forgot to do was move that fucking navy out of the way. And, um, Arabia. I forget about Arabia sometimes. They'll undoubtedly come under attack, probably by both forces. I didn't move them out of the way. A time. I probably could, it's probably, it's possible, I think, that I could defeat both. It's just going to be tedious fucking defensive battles, though, which, as you guys know, argh, fucking defensive battles, fuck off. Fucking Visigoths, at least they came with the, with the army first, not the navy, because we can destroy the navy quite easily. I mean, the, um, army. So what are they bring in the navy? Yeah, whatever. Oh, what a pain. I'm sick of these defensive fucking battles. I just... They're not fun at all.
And also just, it just takes more of my time. Like, I just want to get my plans moving. I, just, I wish I could just auto-resolve this just to move on to get my plans underway. This has got nothing to do with anything. And these guys have no real plan here. They were just second if they, if they won. They're idiots. Again, huge problems I have with this campaign. Huge problems. But, yeah, for, for the, a little bit of it, I know I complain a bit about this campaign, but I am enjoying it to, a, like, a mediocre degree. It's it's just... This campaign, the Total War II Grand Campaign, is the shittest campaign that Creative Assembly has ever fucking flung at us, in my opinion. Alright, so they got a little bit of cavalry. And patches and all that kind of shit doesn't really change it. Like, they can get, they can remove corruption and all that kind of shit. It doesn't change the, the fucking backwards dumb decisions, the, the, uh, the shallow, the lack of depth of this campaign is, it just hasn't been addressed at all. And just some of the stupid decisions in regard to buildings. Like just the, the stats of the buildings, just that some of them make no sense to me. Completely, like, I, I, I find it difficult to get immersed in this game. That's the biggest problem. Like, this game can be described as the most polished piece of shit that they've ever produced. It's definitely polished, but it's still a piece of shit. And that's the thing. Rome, uh, Medieval 2 can be described as the most unpolished fucking brilliant game that they've ever produced. It's unpolished as fuck, but it's brilliant for some reason. Alright, so where's the Navy coming from? Over Enemy here. Reinforcements. The wind's at their back. Oh, they got a ramming ship. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Um, how about you just, just distract them? Send them over here. We'll probably go and chase you. The enemy should know when the odds are hopeless. We already got rid of one of those ships. And that one's on fire. Very good. And how are we going over here? Did you burn anything yet? No, because this is a stupid ship design. With very poor targeting. Requires you to fucking babysit them in order to, to perform well, despite the fact I gave them a direct order to do something and they just are dumb. They've the been ship has replenished his ammunition. The general has been killed. Excellent. We well, haven't finished them off. What are you doing? Give you an order to blow them up. Why aren't you doing it? Okay, at least you've burnt down one ship so far. That's better than nothing. Fucking hell, every time one of these ships get absolutely wrecked by something. Well, whatever, losing one ship is no big deal. That one's burning. Our men are rallying. They're not done yet. Keep moving, keep them distracted while we burn the rest of their fleet down over here. Well, it's not even a fleet, but you know what I mean. This ship here is of no use to me anymore, just get away. If they're not going to operate their, their, their uh, artillery, what's the point? What are you going to do for me? Try and burn down up these other ships. I don't really think that's burnt down at all. Just pick a different target. What are you, stuck or something? That wasn't what I was aiming for. Why can't you? Oh, I, I did put them on fire at will, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, that one's on fire. Doesn't matter. At least they're wasting their time. Keep firing. Ammunition replenished. Oh no no! Oh, you already used up your thing anyway. That's clearly already burnt. Alright, 
Alright, time to disembark. Fucking defensive battles, really, really uninteresting. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. Whatever. No! Come on, hurry up and burn this. There we go. That's what I like to see. I think we burned down a significant number of them. I don't think these guys have really got any more. Oh, hang on, this one here is nearly burnt. See if you can give it a shot. Oh, fuck it. Hit there. See if you can. Oh, come on, you can make it. Or are you going to drown at sea? They just made it, I think. I don't know the skin of their dicks. Didn't quite burn him, but that's alright. Okay, use whistling shot now. Ammunition stocks restored. Okay, you guys are going to want to disembark soon because the enemy fleet's going to be on its way over here. I'm sure as shit thinking you're not going to want to be here when they arrive. Uh, make sure one of these guys are on flaming shot. I'm sending this guy over here to get rid of their, their, uh, the men have received more ammo. Good, they're all shattered. Okay, you disembark over here. No real rush. Come on, time to disembark, or are you completely stuck? Good. We got all of our ships off the water. And I'm pretty sure we one got sunk and one of them just routed. So we've only lost one ship so far. The rest of these guys aren't going to do jack shit to us. Nothing remains of that tower now. Get away from those artillery. Although I don't think they've got that much ammo left, because we would have wasted quite a bit of it, I think. The barricades are under attack! Them out. Now come around over here, you still got more wiping out to do. Good stuff. Uh, go to, uh, just actually stop firing now. Um, you come over here, get rid of him. These guys are pretty much coming straight on land just to run away. Okay, I will send the cavalry to run all these guys down, so I'll pause the recording whilst I'm doing this. This boring job of running all these motherfuckers down. Okay, the enemies run down as much as I could. We got ourselves a heroic victory, of course. Only 700 of them remain. So yeah, we lost that one ship there, but that's okay. But I didn't really need those ones for this kind of battle anyway. Their army is completely wrecked, but I don't think their navy is taking much damage because I didn't focus on that. Hopefully they just go back to Italy and leave me the fuck alone. Prepare your defenses for fucking when I come and kill you, bastards. That'll be fun. 
boost up your defenses instead of this fucking defensive battle shit all the time. The AI is so aggressive on this, but it's almost stupid. I mean, the I mean the more aggressive someone is, I guess the stronger they are to an extent. But they they're aggressive, but then they don't do anything with it because they just sack it every single time. Well, they don't come with a very good plan. I don't coordinate with their allies at all. There's a time when worry. Yeah, I forgot to fucking move him out of the way. Oh, good. He just besieged the settlement. I can still get out of there. Did we just fight a battle here? Yeah, we did. Oh, God. What the f fuck? I did not press the manually resolve button. That's what I wanted to do, but I did not press it. The mouse was nowhere near it, and I did not touch anything on the keyboard. So, like, I don't care on this particular instance because this is what I wanted, but I'm, what I'm saying is, if I wanted to auto resolve this, I would be very angry right now with this stupid gang and its bugs. It doesn't have that many bugs. But if, if the game wasn't so fucking shallow, I wouldn't... I could just double lane into this game, seriously. Everyone everyone knows it's... It's, it's a Polish turret. They can't... They really can't do much more with it. That's the thing. It's so... It's so... So wide and unambitious. It's... That's my problem with it. Lack of ambition in this game. Oh, God. I, I bang on about this game a lot. But still, when you're playing a game and you see things you just don't like about it, I mean, you can sit there and say nothing about it like a fucking, I don't know, butt fucker. Or you can uh, voice your concerns loudly and often, and maybe one day, one day maybe they'll hear. But they won't hear if we don't say anything about it. I mean, we're the ones that play this game. If we've got a problem with it, we've got to speak up. And if I'm isolated in, in my opinion, well... People will just call me crazy old fucking legend with these stupid opinions. So be it. Wasn't what I was aiming for, but whatever, I can't complain. Usual kind of bullshit with them. Whatever. Alright, I'm not expecting much out of this. Who are we even fighting anyway? Bastanians, I think. Well, I really fucking hate this ship. Well, I don't hate them, I just... I don't know, I find them clunky. General is dead. Because you know, a full round of, of flame doesn't destroy a, a um a naval ship. As as opposed to a transport ship. And they're very long, long to, uh, take a long time to reload. And they they do actually have quite a high upkeep for a unit that it, it just doesn't really impress me very much. It's just got so many weaknesses. They did well there. Alright, you take this down. You guys, blow them up. Good, you got him. I don't know. Sometimes they... They impressed me a little bit. He's doing okay. I mean, he's burnt down two ships. Two ships that essentially weren't fighting back. The men have 
received more ammo. Right, when you're done with that one, there's these ships here. You move into the port, kill everyone in your way. You guys just whistling shot. These guys didn't put up any sort of a fight at all, really. Hey, artillery, how about not shooting at uh, your allies? Come on, burn it! Before they bloody disembark. Fucking idiot. Ammunition. Good, they managed to sink just in time. Of course. To a watery grave. You run them down. More ammunition. There is really nothing to worry about at all in this battle now. I don't even think we've lost a single man so far. Wouldn't that be funny if we managed to win this battle without a single casualty? I'm just going to alternate between flaming and whistling shot. And let's just get this battle over with. I mean, I could go and run them down. But I don't know, we so badly crushed them. I mean, if they come back, they're dead meat anyway. Let them tell the tale of how they got smashed by legend. And as I thought, I took absolutely zero losses. Essentially an infinite kill ratio, because you can't quantify zero as opposed to anything else. Zero to 2,088 kill ratio, sort of. Thanks for the free units, fuckwits. Um, I could take the money, but we don't need it. We're making a fortune. My lord. We find you worthy of better. And be very careful because it's a, the mouse is sort of like default on the tick. We find you worthy. So what I do is I take my hand off the mouse before any diplomatic thing comes no up. profit in continuing. That way I don't accidentally click the tick. The thing is, if I did accidentally click tick, I could just pump that load Many button. Many good men have died in our wars. And I'm sure that would be justified on legendary difficulty. I mean, we'll just take it straight back to um, to where we um, we won the battle anyway. It's not like we'd be doing any fights. But I'm um, generally speaking pretty careful with that shit. All right, so they buggered off here. They didn't bother to give that a shot. Um, They didn't take Sabrata, that's fine. I'm going to try and hinder this f force here. Because I don't want them coming to Sabrata, because I'm going to try and take it this turn. I think they sacked the settlement. Because this region here, Hadramentum, is in fucking ruins. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they're going to Garama. Garama's got some defenders there. I don't know if it can take on a full stack. I'm going to merge this unit here. It used to be able to get... Oh, I see. It has to go all the way around it to get to Garama. Okay, and then just recruit another one of them. Okay, time to move on to Sabrata. And basically getting back this whole province once again. I 
could also take Hadramentum as well with the Navy, but obviously it's in a bit of a state. I gotta take out that army. I'd rather him make the attack. That is impossible. And nobody should be close enough to the area to be able to, to take it. No point in looting a settlement that's got no money to loot. So we just occupy it and we'll pair it up all straight away. We've got the money for it. I need everything fixed. And now we can actually you know, fix up this region, finally. Get the sanitation up in here and finally consolidate this province. So the food here is good because we built the uh, food market. When does this become available? We're not too far off of that. I don't think we really need it urgently right now though. You get in there, public order is going to shit. Um, doesn't matter. This guy here, he can move to... He can move a little bit, that's fine. What the fuck am I going to do about this guy? At least he's taking some attrition. I can't just raise another army there either. What am I going to do with these two? I mean, there's a Morian... Wait, is it... Yeah, Morian force right there. Is there anyone else nearby? No. If I kept these guys together, I could probably besiege Caesarea with impunity. These guys here would probably try and get through... How far can you get? Okay, you can besiege it as well. Of course, you're going to take a little bit of attrition coming back here. Is the artillery ready? Yes, it is. Okay. A little bit expensive. Not a big deal, though. Let's get rid of a unit of... Uh, let's see. I say we've got enough Sagittarius. Right? Let's disband that to account for the artillery. And that will also get them starving. What the f Oh, fuck me sideways. They're gonna actually come in to help. That's okay. If I bring in the other army, we can order resolve it and they'll get destroyed. I thought that they'd be at war with them. So we can order resolve that. Which would yield much better results than manually resolved. Because not only do we take less casualties, even though we didn't lose any battalions, we wiped them out completely. To have wiped them out completely on the battlefield, I would have had to hunt down every single one of those units. Again, order resolve overpowered. Uh, Want to occupy because we don't know what else is nearby here. The elements all the way over here. That's fine. Alright, so obviously this unit here is costing me a lot. We don't need it any further, just hire them as needed. And just, re oh, hang on. I'll take that instead. Thank you. We must already have a, um, a workshop here. Carpenter. You should get one as well. No real need to upgrade their ammunition. Don't destroy that right now. Infantry quarters, get rid of it. Public baths, don't need it. Latin church, I'll convert it. So repair it, repair it, repair it. And as for this, don't destroy it, don't repair it. So they're starving now. Now, are they, have they built up the marble resource here? No, they're completely ignoring it. Doesn't matter, just throw some stuff there anyway. So the public order here is not stable now. What's going on? There's still a little bit of lack of food, but it's not that much. Jeez, minus 30 is causing minus 8 public order diff uh, problems. If I exempt the region from tax, public order would be fine, but still, I need that money. It's making quite a lot. Okay, so we've got the camel herd. Let's go with cattle for the rest of it. Once that's built, that should actually fix our public order issues. Same with other things. Alright, what else is going on? You need more authority if we want you to uh, 
persuade at any point in time. You inbred piece of shit. Okay, it doesn't really matter too much for him. Pretty much every agent gets the inbred trait in this game for the player. Even though that was a um, converted unit. Okay, this is their last level up. What can I do to increase his authority? Although it's just about maxed out. There is nothing I can do to increase his authority. But what can I do? What is his zeal here going to do? What about cunning? Reduced agent action cost. Well, that doesn't really concern me. Ah, whatever. Just give him those abilities. And keep him there. How's the public order? Looking good. Right, over here. Got to remember to do this. Get them the fuck out of there. Can't cancel the shit, but that's fine. So I just I essentially just wasted a bit of money on that settlement. But if they want to retake it, they've got to deal with those rebels there as well. And we'll we'll clean up shop once it's over. I don't even want to fight that battle manually, to be honest. Right, we need to get rid of this Visigoth bastard here. Oh fuck me sideways, I can run a long way in retreat, but we should be able to catch him, and hopefully... No, they're not coming to help. You've been hunting him down. That was the whole reason we hired you in the first place. Let's see if we can actually get him next turn. He should be stuck here. Ready for battle. I don't think we can hit him now. Let me see. No. Good, that'll be useful. And what else? Not much else there that I need. Good army, could use some cavalry, but we haven't really set up our cavalry stuff yet. Was I gonna build them here? I, uh, yeah, I was. But we, we still need to develop it a bit more. This shit here needs to be repaired. Again. Okay, need eyes and ears over here. Yeah, see, their, their experience is increasing, just very slowly. I could take that. Still feel like I could take it. Alright, if I was to uh, tax this region now, let's see. Public order would be stable, and we're making some more money. Good, we're at 700,000. And how much is that making us per turn? <laughs> um, 38,000. Well, not really. Um, if you go to the breakdown, where's interest? 5% death. That's how much money we're making in interest. Which keeps on increasing. Alright, not much else we can do. Next turn go hunt them down here and move these guys out this way as well alright let's just make sure we're at war with everyone which we are yep what else that's all good I can't see anything else that needs to be done let's move on okay alright so these generals here what are we going to do with you um, get that stuff done more public order would certainly help, and then make your way down here. We've got to get to there. I don't think anyone's going to make their attacks on us. Actually, it's funny how the Swabians have landed here. That's pretty close to where they're supposed to be, historically. Okay. The Picts here, we haven't actually discovered them, have we? If we look at them, it'll say unknown. Because if we look down the line here, we're at war with everyone that we've seen. Even though on the map here, we can see factions that... What the fuck are these Irish doing here? Well, I don't want to I don't want to come in contact with them just yet, but we are really got to keep an eye on that every single turn. Let's move on. Only 
me the greatest. Again, hoping that there's no defensive battles that I have to fight, because as you know, I get very bored of them. However, the, ba uh, the defensive battles are the ones we usually have to fight manually. Because they won't go into it well, most of the time, nine times out of ten, they won't make an attack unless the auto resolve is in their favour. I hope they just fucking going home. Uh, that's okay. This is just that stupid settlement that I don't care about. Man, these ones here have been beaten up to shit. Well, I'll just order it, but they, they might even just sack the settlement, for fuck's sake. Which I don't have a problem with. No, they took it back, and now they have to contend with these rebels here. And whoever wins, well, once those rebels are destroyed, I'm going back in a there. simple tribute is all that is expected and needed. Then... No peace. You guys are going to lose to me anyway. Peace. Yeah, now they're asking. Actually, they've been asking for peace for a while. Oh yeah, I forgot to deal with them. Uh, I, th I think they wiped out that army. Alright then, so, everything looks good, money's coming in, not quite as much as it was before, probably we've lost, yeah, some of these guys here, get him back in there. So he's starving, but there's another army out here that we didn't expect. I don't really care too much about this settlement here, like if it, if it gets destroyed or whatever. I'm not concerned. I need to keep moving. I mean, we need to take this first before we worry about Mauritania. All right, what have we got here? Do we want to go for that, for the food emporium? Probably not crucial. That extra campaign movement range will probably save our ass quite a few times. If we can grab that. Hmm, what are we gonna do here? So it doesn't look like there's anyone in Carthago. We can get the marble resource by taking this. How, how's our armies holding out? A little bit damaged. Should be easily able should easily be able to repel that. What else is in the area? Okay. Just forget about about this region here. Um any investments I make could be bad, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Now destroy this. Actually, let me just see. Yeah, look, 15% for armor and shield. Alright, it's kind of crap. I, I just don't feel like we need it, even with elite troops. Alright, um, you go ahead and make the attack. Constant tier. 
And what we're doing now is retaking a lot of the old Western Roman Empire's territory, which have now been dead for a couple of years. None will escape! Just occupy it. Looks like it's been sacked recently, so we need to repair it quickly. And get it up to scratch. Alright, so repair that. Sheep flock. Uh, probably needs cattle, but yeah, repair it. Local industry, destroy it. Town commons, destroy it. So what we need to build here is marble and um, the fountain, of course. Now, I'm a little bit concerned. If I go in there to attack this guy, he's just going to run away. And he's not really that much of a priority to hit. Okay, if we move out of this region also, um, public order's probably going to go shit. But that's okay. I'd rather focus on finishing this off here. Yeah, massively going to shit. Okay, we can actually catch him. And I think it's important that we do that. We won't finish off the faction, but at least this army I won't have to worry about again. And there's no real threat here. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Nothing here to be concerned about, but bring the two armies in there so they can get get experience. So who's gonna make this attack? I bet you do it. We take this settlement. Let them cower like cannon dogs. To battle. Now I'm pretty sure if that army comes over here, is not going to stand much of a chance. And then we need to go up to Carthago. Just occupy it. Ready for orders. No need to keep uh, looting all this shit. Don't need the money. I'm, I'm here for the strategic resource. Alright, so yeah, they, they pulled this fleet well back. These, um, Getulians. Do they have any territory left? Or if I just, if, um... Nope, they've got no territory left, so they're on starvation. They have to make some moves now if they want to get anywhere. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Situation's looking very good. We've nearly controlled all of Africa. So, just having a look at the summary. We're on 25 settlements. Imperium's still well off from getting to the next level and having 12 armies instead of 10. But these guys are getting fucked up. Okay, we've lost this settlement. Okay, no, no. So, I thought that they had destroyed this army, but it looks like they attacked and failed. I could go back over there and fight it, but... Taking that settlement there was really... Always just about stopping them from creating a navy because I can't really hold it properly with this navy here um, And stop to stop them from raiding our coasts. This is why I'm not really focusing too much on building another na uh, building up this one here Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe part 29 I think is next and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time fuckers